BMJ Learning is a leader in online medical education for students and healthcare professionals worldwide. Test your knowledge with these sample questions from the BMJ Learning module on the ECG in patients with chest pain. An 82-year-old man presents to his GP complaining of exertional dyspnea and chest tightness. He has a background history of osteoarthritis and only takes paracetamol when required. His heart rate is 38 BPM and blood pressure is 174 over 90. The rest of his clinical examination is normal. What is the diagnosis? A. Complete heart block. B. Second degree AV block. C. Acute coronary syndrome. D. Sinus bradycardia. The correct answer is A, complete heart block. His ECG shows that there is no clear association between atrial activity, P waves, and ventricular activity, QRS complexes. The atrial activity is also faster than the ventricular activity. This indicates that he has complete or third degree heart block. This patient has narrow ventricular complexes, suggesting that the interruption in conduction is at AV nodal level. It is the complete heart block that is causing the impaired exercise tolerance. What is the optimal next step in his management? A. Outpatient referral to cardiology for consideration of permanent pacemaker. B. Admission to hospital for pacemaker implantation. C. Antiplatelet therapy and admission to hospital for ACS treatment. The correct answer is B, admission to hospital for pacemaker implantation. His heart rate is below 40 BPM and he has complete heart block. He should be ideally admitted for inpatient implantation of a permanent pacemaker. Antiplatelet therapy should be avoided in this situation as it may increase his risk of bleeding related to pacemaker implantation. You can complete the full module and learn more at learning.bmj.com.